Good morning and welcome. I'd like to extend a warm virtual welcome to each of you to the Wellness Coordinator webinar. My name is Christy and today is April 23rd, 2024. Today's agenda, we have a lot to talk about. Starting things off by diving into the monthly well-being feature for May, which is women's health. Then we're on to the book club summary. And finally, we'll wrap things up with the updates and reminders. We've got a lot to talk about today, so we'll get right into it. Starting off with our well-being theme, as always, you'll have the monthly well-being resources of the newsletter, the flyer, and the poster. Women's health encompasses various aspects crucial for overall well-being and longevity. Amidst busy schedules, it's vital for women to prioritize healthy habits to prevent diseases and enhance their quality of life. Heart disease is a significant concern for women, with exercise being a cornerstone of prevention. Aim for at least 30 minutes of aerobic exercise four times a week, supplemented with strength training to maintain bone density, especially post-menopause. A balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats is essential. Avoid processed foods and prioritize fresh, nutrient-dense options to support overall health and weight management. While multivitamins offer benefits, obtaining nutrients from a diverse diet is ideal. Consuming a variety of colorful foods provides essential vitamins, minerals, and fiber reducing the need for supplements. Healthy aging involves lifestyle cho choices such as nutrition, exercise, stress management, and regular health screenings. Avoiding tobacco and excess alcohol, protecting skin from sun damage, and prioritizing mental health contribute to graceful aging. Preparing for pregnancy involves maintaining a healthy lifestyle, including proper nutrition, avoiding harmful substances like alcohol and tobacco, and monitoring for early signs of pregnancy. Parenting is both challenging and rewarding, necessitating a strong support network. Online parenting forums can also offer valuable advice and camaraderie during difficult times. Regular mammograms and self-examinations are essential for early detection of breast cancer, particularly for women at higher risk due to family history. Start screenings earlier may be advisable based on individual risk factors. Excessive stress can lead to various health issues, highlighting the importance of relaxation techniques such as therapy, meditation, and exercise. Women face unique health risks, such as heart disease, stroke, urinary tract problems, and depression. Understanding these risks and taking preventative measures is crucial for maintaining optimal health. Avoiding smoking, excess of alcohol intake, and maintaining a good oral hygiene are fundamental pre preventative measures. Regular checkups with healthcare providers facilitate early detection and management of potential health issues. Women's health requires a holistic approach encompassing all of the areas we discussed. By prioritizing these aspects, women can lead healthier, fulfilling lives while reducing the risk of disease and promoting longevity. On to our book club book. Taking Care of Yourself by Mary O'Connor, MD, and Ken Wall Hack, MS, is a comprehensive guide designed to empower women as advocates for their own health. Book serves as a valuable resource providing essential information on various aspects of women's health. The authors aim to address healthcare disparities, particularly among women of lower socioeconomic economical status and women of color. It covers a wide range of topics beyond re reproductive, sexual, and maternal health, focusing on conditions that impact women differently from men and more frequently. 
The mission is to encourage active engagement with healthcare teams, fostering a positive change in women's health care experiences. On to those updates and reminders. May is just around the corner, and that means it is our annual walk at work event, events for employees. Wellness coordinators were sent an email and, and asked to register um, and fill out a quick service, survey um, to receive a promotional toolkit along with one $25 gift card redemption code to select the retailer of your choice. Use this $25 uh, gift card as a prize drawing for your walk at work event, participation, or supplies. As of this morning, I had 77 wellness coordinators registered uh, to host an event. If you have not yet registered, there's still time. We are closing that uh, this Friday, April 26th. So go ahead and uh, click on the link in that wellness coordinator update from last month. I believe uh, Rebecca sent that out to all coordinators since our last coordinator uh, webinar. So go ahead and get registered. Um, we'll send out those $25 gift cards uh, hopefully sometime next week. Uh, so you have those to use. Um, we're also supporting you with a toolkit to help engage your employees. Uh, we'll send you a fillable flyer where you can put in your agency specific dates, where to meet, and any other information you'd like to include. We have an email featuring Governor Borgum. And then again, that code to redeem one $25 gift card that you can use as a prize drawing or for supplies. Um, and again, I should, uh, I'm going to close that registration here this Friday and get those cards uh, ordered and emailed out to you hopefully next week sometime. Uh, there are so many ways you can implement a walk at work event. It can be as little as a 10 or 15 minute walk offered once or as a, as a group or multiple times throughout the day, week or month. Remember, these one day events can be rewarded with a voucher certificate of completion and those are worth 3,000 points in uh, the wellness portal. So host an event in May, uh, one-time walk or done virtually, multiple walk times in one day or options throughout the month. Um, and all those participants are eligible to receive a voucher certificate of completion from uh, you, their wellness coordinator ten, uh, for attending that event. Here are some fun ideas that wellness coordinators are planning to do this year. Um, group photo and a 15 minute walk, um, encouraging walking at home, offering department scavenger hunts, walking on breaks throughout the month, walking Wednesdays, walking meetings, walking videos, um, competitions uh, with the different divisions, and a photo and story uh, with a walk contest. So uh, get creative here. Let me know your ideas. I'd love to share those with our other wellness coordinators for future events. Um, so good luck in your planning. Um, and our walk at work event for May um, aligns with that marathon in a month, which is our most popular challenge. It is now open in the portal. Um, so that challenge opens on May 1st and runs through the 28th. You're uh, asked to get 50,000 steps, which is an equivalent to a marathon. Um, and that's only 1,785 steps per day, uh, which we are hoping is a very achievable goal um, as it has been in the past for our participants. Uh, members are also asked to track on 21 of the 28 days of the challenge. Um, you'll have an extra week to get that uh, data inputted into the portal before that challenge is removed from the portal. Um, so I believe that's June 6th or 7th when that uh, challenge is removed from the portal. Um, as a bo added bonus, just like we have done in previous years, of all of those participants who complete the marathon in a month challenge, uh, the Sanford Health Plan will randomly select three lucky winners, and each of them will receive a Garmin watch. So go ahead and promote that. That is in the newsletter and in your coordinator update as well. Um, here are the simple tracking page that members can uh, input their steps. If they have a, 
a device attached to the portal, it'll automatically enter your steps, I believe. As you can see, it will count the number of days one has tracked uh, steps, um, your participation goal of 21 of, of those 28 days, and your total steps for the day, as well as those total steps tracked so far. On to the diabetes pre prevention program. Preventing type 2 diabetes. As a Sanford Health Plan member, you have a diabetes prevention program offering to help make small lifestyle changes that can lead to big health improvements. Change Your Way is an evidence-based program offered in partnership with the CDC's National Diabetes Prevention Program. This year-long group coaching program focuses on simple strategies to help you lose weight, increase physical activity, and decrease your risk for developing type 2 diabetes. The group virtual program includes weekly meetings for the first four months, monthly meetings for the last eight months, and support from a trained lifestyle coach and class peers. The registration is now open. That will be in uh, the May newsletter and the wellness coordinator update. Um, this diabetes prevention program is free of charge for eligible members that meet the qualification criteria. Um, so then there is the uh, are you at risk section. One in three adults has prediabetes and many do not know it. Take the risk test to see if you are at risk for developing prediabetes. To participate in the diabetes prevention program, individuals must have at least one of the following qualifications. A risk test score of five or higher, a history of gestational diabetes while pregnant, a blood glucose or blood sugar test resulting of the numbers listed there. If you have already been diagnosed by your physician with type 1 or type 2 diabetes, you do not qualify this for this prevention program. Email partners in prevention at sanfordhealth.org to learn more about the diabetes management program. As you can see on the bottom right hand corner of the screen there, um, those are the classes that are upcoming for this and those will be coming in the newsletter and coordinator updates um, for May and June. Um, participants will receive 5,000 points upon successful completion of the program. The program is a year long, so completion typically occurs in the following calendar year. Thus, points are typically received the following calendar year. So again, if these are starting in June of this year, they aren't going to be finished until June, July of next year. Um, so then they would not get points in 2024 for these, but they would in 2025. So once the program is completed, they will be awarded those 5,000 points. So our call to action for each of you, encourage members to learn more by scanning the QR code, which again will be in the newsletter, um, or visit the website. Watch for an email from Rebecca. Please forward that email to your agency colleagues. And again, um, forward inquiries to that partners in prevention at sanfordhealth.org. The next monthly member webinar is Tuesday, May 14th at 10. We'll dig deeper into our topic of the month, which is women's health. All attendees will receive a voucher worth 3,000 points, which I will email uh, shortly after that webinar has completed. I do get an attendance report from each of those so I can see who has attended and I get those out as soon as possible. As always, uh, we have a dedicated phone number for our wellness coordinators for support. So you can call us at 888-448-0157. Um, you can always email us at the NDPERS wellness at sanfordhealth.org. Um, do, we do prefer that you contact us through that email instead of emailing Tanner or I directly. Um, that way, if one of us is out of the office or preoccupied with other things, um, anyone can uh, respond to emails from that email address. Uh, we also send our members to that same email address. So again, if you have any uh, members in your agency 
that are having questions, concerns, have comments, they can certainly reach out to the wellness team at NDPERS Wellness at SanfordHealth.org. And we have a separate phone number for our members to call, which is that 800 499 3416. Our next coordinator webinar is always the fourth Tuesday of the month. So we'll see you again right here on May 28th at 10 a.m. And we will talk about that June well being theme, getting you ready for the month to come. So I'll go ahead and open things up to questions. As always, if you have any questions, pop those in the chat at any time. Go ahead and see if I can. Stop sharing that, we'll stop recording.